Security Log, how are we doing today, guys? Alright, last night, YouTube kind of really bumfucked itself. Last night, I uploaded a new video to my IRO channel, and right after I were, you know, I was going to sign on to my vlogging channel, it said, uh, the highly trained team to monkeys has been, well, is taking care of this problem. I'm not really sure how many of you guys have ever got that error page on YouTube. It basically means there's something fucked up on YouTube because they're updating their shit. I tried from literally probably like fucking 8.30 to like 12.30. Then I finally just said, fuck it. Kind of really pissed off. Normally I would upload a vlog, but it, it's kind of really pointless, so... Oh well, it's just whatever. Fuck you, YouTube. This hasn't been the, la the first time that YouTube really has fucked me and my bum bum. Whenever YouTube does these, like, live shows or whatever for, like, singers, like, senators or fucking whoever, they always fuck up their shit. And I've said this many times before, um, YouTube is in the, in the top three most searched websites on the internet. First is Google, second, I believe, is Facebook, and then third, I believe, is Google. And then porn is sub- you know, searches. Because you don't go searching for porn, damn it. You go on YouTube searching for that shit. Or you would type in other websites. You know, you guys understand what I'm saying. Okay, anyways, yeah. YouTube, you have fucked me again. But otherwise, I've uploaded. I've, I've been a uh, holy shit balls. I can't even talk today. I've uploaded a new, uh, a new, holy shit balls. Wow. My mouth is like totally fucked up. Um, I'm not really sure how many of you guys seen this movie called The Cottage. Uh, in the movie, this hot chick, she basically sucker punches this guy, and he dislocates his jaw, and his jaw looks like this. It's like, uh, and then she sucker punches him fucking back, and then his jaw gets knocked in any place. It's pretty goddamn funny. Um, but otherwise, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. Uploaded another a, a new PK video on my main channel. So if you guys haven't seen it, then you guys should go and watch it because well, it's one of those fucking shit up videos. But otherwise, um kinda wanna talk about something fairly interesting. And try fucking I think I have this person's name written down. If not, it's it's kinda sucks. E where the hell is it? Let's see. Fuck. I don't think I have it written down. Um, basically this person messaged me on, uh, YouTube and he asked, um, what would be some things that I want to, I would want to accomplish on RuneScape before I quit RuneScape? Now, as I said before, I'll quit RuneScape when I'm no longer having fun on the game, but right now I'm really having way too much fucking fun to even think about quitting. So, I mean, that's basically why I quit playing the game Morrowind is because I had no fun on Morrowind. And I mean, for me to continue playing a game that I have no fun on, it's kind of fucking retarded and pointless if you think about it. Um, but some of the things that I would want before hypothetically quitting, you know, I don't really like the word quitting, so we'll just change it to closing down RuneScape. Okay, so what would be some things... Like, let's say if Jagex announced that a year from now, RuneScape would be shutting down. What would be some things that I would want to uh, have accomplished? One is I actually would do a lot of quests and visit some of the places on RuneScape that I've never been. That might sound really gay and cheesy, but that's, you know, really about it. Um, not to mention I would buy a Divine, I would test out a Divine, see what why is it so much fucking money if it's really worth the goddamn money? Second, um, or rather thirdly, I would uh, probably most likely buy a few 99s. I mean, I would probably most likely buy Herblore, um, buy farming if, you know, I'm not, if I can't accomplish it by doing assists and fucking herb runs. Um, and that's pretty much about it. I mean, so really, as for agility goes, really wouldn't give a fuck about that. I would more so care about getting to 200 mil fletching. That's another thing. I would probably buy 200 mil fletching EXP. So, 
if RuneScape really said they were shutting down, now it would fucking suck if Jagex said we're shutting down RuneScape in a year, and a ton of people started dropping all their shit, started buying 99s, yes, I would fly over to their fucking building and kick someone in the balls. Let's hope that never happens. But otherwise, guys, kind of curious. What would you guys want to accomplish if Jagex said they were closing down RuneScape in one year? You guys can leave some nasty, dirty little comments about that. But otherwise, guys, check out my new video on my main channel. And right now, I want to go to my email address and we have some happy Hoopa Hoopa questions. Ask NightmareShyahoo.com to react to me. You who is the wise if you do. Well, Jagex will fuck you again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. First, Hoopa Hoopa question. Hey, Nightmare, I have two questions for you. If you lost all your items, would you still play? Do you ever gain any weight after playing for so long? Question mark. All right, uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, use your name. Patrick. That sounds like you're saying your penis is called Patrick. You know, I'm, I'm just stating the obvious. Okay. If I lost all my items, would I still play? Yes, I would just be extremely fucking pissed off. Um, do you ever gain any weight after playing for so long? If this person means for playing video games, as long as video games don't become your main source of exercise, then you are okay in life. You know, I mean, some people, I mean, it's, it's kind of funny because I've been vlogging now for about, I'd say about, do, well, on this channel over fucking about a year and a half now. And if you watch my first vlog, I've been maintaining weight. I mean, I don't, you know, I haven't gained any fucking weight. Now, you guys can't see my legs and shit, but trust me, my legs are not fucking humongous and shit. They're normal goddamn legs, except with a lot of goddamn tattoos. Next question to Nightmare RH. Have you ever seen Mod Mark Earhart on RuneScape? Question mark. Okay. First of all, I re I never knew that Mod Mark Gerhardt had a clan chat or friends chat that he would talk to some people in, because supposedly he does have friends on this game and shit. Um, that's why there was a lot of speculation when they increased overnight rock climbing boots from like 1k to 75k, because a lot of people said, oh, he just did it so his friends could make a whole bunch of money. Um, I, I'm not really sure that's true. I don't really give a fuck, to be honest. Um, but I've never seen him before. So, it doesn't mean that he doesn't have a RuneScape character. It just means that probably he doesn't fucking play the game. He's probably doing a lot of other shit. It would be kind of funny if you actually did see him on RuneScape, like, floating around and shit. Oh well, but guys, like I said, make sure to check out my new RuneScape video, and if you guys got anything for me, you can leave it in a nasty, dirty little comment, and I will see you happy, motivated motherfuckers tomorrow. Bye!